Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I was so excited when I got this that I uh, I just unboxed the thing and uh, started jamming everything in the car. So it's done ahead of time and I realized I don't have any power in the car and I went to make a bench harness and I realized I don't have the CAN bus connector to connect the dash on the bench. Stuff I might do later, but anyway, I figured I would just power it in the car and show you guys a little bit about it. I threw the harness in already. I'll show you a little bit more about the harness, but Holly put up a live video of them just hooking this up to a like a LS engine on a stand and they went through the wizard and fired the car and I got the ECU a little bit early. The software isn't even out to do crazy advanced settings, but figured it'd be funny to just show you guys, you know, how it works. So I got my AC adapter here and uh, I'll plug this guy in and uh, the LEDs flashed and the screen boots up and then bam, the dash is working already. So basically you do all your configuration from here and you can get the thing running and driving. If you have a simple all motor combo, you're like technically done. I mean, I, I wish I could just drop this in something uh, right now <laughs> and drive it around the block. But I'm really keen to get the large injectors, the flex fuel sensor and all the the cool stuff, uh, you know, people uh, that watch what I do are looking to do. So you can basically go in and set. Basically, this thing's locked out for doing LS stuff right now. A normal one would have a bunch of options in here. But it basically just says, you know, multi-port fuel injection. And hit next. So choose it. Eight cylinders. Firing order. Uh, you can enter your cubic inches. Uh, we'll go liters. And then you can just... Oh, 4.8. I got it. Right on the nose. Target idle speed, probably... Like right around 900. Do to do. Do to do. Yeah, we'll say 910. And, uh... Yeah, the cam is below 235, so we'll just choose that. 24 tooth. Next. Injectors. Other. See, that's where I might have to do the dial in to set up. So, Siemens DECA 60s, FIC, 850s. Oh, it has FIC data in here already. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I have 1500 snake eaters, so we'll choose FIC 1650s. Power adder. Turbo. Oh yeah, I don't have the two and a half bar map in. I have a three bar plugged in, but we'll we'll get to that. Watt ignition timing at zero psi. Yeah, roughly twenty. Timing retard per pound. Oh, you can choose that. Crazy. Well, we'll set this up then later. Target air fuel at zero psi 12.4 sounds good oh that's cool offset f for every seven pounds fourteen psi eleven eight seven psi twelve one oh i see how this works that's nice twelve oh eleven six eleven two man that's perfect right now it's uploading my tune Oh, you hear it working the idle air motor and everything? Wow. Dang. Well, let's power cycle it. I can't wait till this thing is ready to run. Check out my uh, AC adapter here to power my holly jolly here. All the LEDs flash on the box, the screen boots. Super quick. Yep, gotta do TPS. So I think for that you go right into the wizard, TPS auto set. Make sure ignition is on and engine is not started. Slowly depress the pedal to the floor twice. Well, we'll just go. We'll just go move the pedal, boys. Wop, wop. Well, I don't have everything plugged in, but I do have TPS and I do have my map sensor plugged in. What's neat is my map sensor will, it's a 
three bar, so it's very close to the two and a half bar. So maybe we'll just see a tiny bit of vacuum at rest here. Next, uh, TPS auto set was successful. Done. Monitor. Multi-gauge. Uh, sensors. Battery volts 11.9. Yeah, a lot of stuff is not plugged in, so it's a little upset. <laughs> TPS disabled. Oh, do I have to key it again? Vitals. That's cool. Well, let's cycle it again. Wish I had a switch or something on here to make this easier. Instead of just... Perform a TPS auto set. Is that because I keep disconnecting the power and not the ignition? <laughs> anyway, let's check out what kind of features they got here. Oh, they do have boost, nitrous, all that stuff in here. I can't wait till the software is out. Launch. Safety setup. Tuning. System. Yeah, what does it say in here for... Yeah, it's mad. I don't have anything. I don't have enough plugged in. <laughs> See, everyone's asking about fan on and off, AC shutdown, engine setup. Yeah, lost all that stuff. Probably because I'm not doing the ignition wire so it can store it. I'll have to change that then. Yeah, we'll go back. Terminator X setup, injection type. Ignition setup, static timing. Oh, let's see, so you can uh, check your timing. Advanced. Advanced fuel, advanced idle, advanced learn, closed loop one and two. Temp enrichment, idle fuel, closed loop. I IAC control, ramp down, IAC startup, wow. Advanced learn, idle spark, advanced idle. What's in basic? Oh, transmission. Oh, look at that. Closed loop learn, basic idle, system. Is it where can I set up the map sensor size? Can I do custom map sensor? Engine setup. Yeah. Can't really. What I'll do is I gotta hook up a switch for ignition so I can uh, get the configuration in there. But really awesome. It's incredible how this thing is small, guys. It's small. It is like just as big as my hand. So there's a, what's funny is when I dug under here to run the wiring in, the A9L, I think it's an A9L, whatever forward computer this is, is still in here. So there's the Dominator, and it has an onboard map. So for all motor guys, they can use the onboard map. And everyone was flipping out that you couldn't do a map sensor, but guys, it uses the existing Holly harness for the Dominator and the HP. So I got this three bar EFI source map sensor right here, and that's gonna go you know, on this nipple right about there. I'm gonna set that up with the advanced software, manifold, temperature sensor, uh, all the regular stuff. My oil pressure, the, the thing for the oil is meant to go to the back of the block, so it's really easy. And then the fuel pressure thing is over here. So what I kind of want to do is just plug the oil into the fuel and the fuel into the oil. And I think I can change it in the configuration. If not, uh, you know, that's something I'll, maybe I'll run the wires or move the sensors somewhere. But that's just a neat after effect. So a quick update for the Mustang is it's going to go to Mark's very soon and they're going to start on the turbo kit and then I'm going to collect the battery and then what's cool is this thing's ready to rock then once it's uh, mostly together I can get the enough wiring done to start the thing and we can start to go nuts. It'll be really fun. But man, I'm excited to try this. I cannot believe honestly that they can do this for this cheap. It is incredible for people that are, I mean some people still are like Oh, I can't really afford it, or, you know, they don't get it. Uh, I, I question your sanity or your IQ if you can't understand. Uh, I totally sound like I'm fanboying, but 
I'm like, the Holly is a great system. It's just, you know, $3,000 for the top end system plus. And then now all of a sudden you get 90% of that and it's 1300 bucks for ADE and drive by wire. And I'm like, I don't know how you guys did that. If you consider you're getting the ECU, this entire wiring harness, the, the engine harness and the power harness, they're, they're technically two things, but all of the wiring or the ECU, the handheld dash that you can also tune, save tunes to, data log to, everything else, and a wideband, and a brand new harness, and like just tap and start support is is all flat out incredible. So <laughs> I don't I don't know how I don't know anybody else selling anything uh, that cheap that total noobs can use. So I'm excited to. Uh, be a part of it for sure. I can't wait to try it and thrash it and let you guys know what I think. So there's a quick update and using it and hopefully, I mean, now we got to scramble get this car done to show you how uh, this thing works. So that'll be the next thing on the agenda. Okay, so I just did some messing around and I hooked up my temp sensors. And exactly like I thought, it needs the battery when you key off to do like a self-storage thing. So right now, if we go to monitor, multi-gauge, we're not looking at the right stuff. Sensors, map sensor, coolant temp, 55 degrees, manifold temp, 60 degrees. Uh, it wants to start on approximately 2% duty cycle, which isn't too far off for uh, this size injector. Uh, idle air position is about 93%. TPS looks like it's working. Uh, Y band is not hooked up. 11.2 volts. Yeah, map sensor is slightly off for the three bar because it's you know it has a base cal for a two and a half. So really cool. So it's all there. It's all ready to rock. We're just waiting for some software to dig into some advanced stuff. Like if we go in to uh, actually there is there is two step stuff set up in here, but not full-on boost builder style anti-lag and then here i'm not able to do advanced tables from the handheld at least not yet uh, nitrous config not available stage one not available uh, it has a bunch of boost stuff uh, i messed around in here just for fun check out the uh you know you can set the uh the instant boost pressure safety so this is like if you hit 20 it instantly does a ignition cut and then there's a time delay, which is pretty cool setting. I don't think I noticed this before. Uh, it's probably in there, but I just set them all the same. Say, you know, you don't want to go over 14 pounds. But every now and then it tickles 14 or 15. You can set a delay in here of, say, like two seconds. So if it goes over 13.8 pounds for two seconds, it does ignition cut and here is like if it hits 21 it instantly cuts like it shuts you right off it does have boost over time curve setup i am assuming we're leaving off of the two-step or something else but you can see uh you know you can set up your amount of boost and everything else so um, i'm sure all of this stuff will be in the advanced but incredible how much is here Advanced fueling, change your enrichments, advanced idle speed changes, closed loop, idle spark, ramp downs. Uh, I would love to put this on an all motor car and tune the whole damn thing with no laptop. Like a lot of you can do that, obviously. Really cool. So here's where you can flash firmware right from the thing. And then global configs. Uh, this is the one that created with the wizard with me. So this is what I flashed in to get everything to work as is. So it saves your tunes. You can rename these also. I think if you hit, uh, well, this one, If I hit, what if you hit download? What does it ask you to save it? Save as. See, this is where you would type in your name. So you would make a separate one with that. Pretty cool. So that's without using a laptop and changing the names on here. What's neat is you. this is where people were like, can I have a two separate tune-ups? Yeah, I mean, you can. You definitely can. You can load an 87 tune into your car. You can load, if you have no, this can do a flex sensor very easily with advanced setup. But if you don't, you can do an E85 tune and a pump gas tune and a 93 tune. If you're into that whole thing where you just load, you know, you, you just, <laughs> you love having separate tunes and you just jam them all in there. So 
Enable trigger. Wow. Really? It'll auto? I can tell it to, uh... Yeah. How about this? You can just tell it to auto log. Everyone was concerned about it not being able to log internally. Say, how about I log whenever TPS is above... This is what I do with the Dominator. I set it up to log above 50%. Wow. So it'll automatically make logs right there. And then there's the files. So, since I set it up to automatically log whenever the TPS is above 55%, what we'll go do is move the throttle and, uh, and then shut it off. Wow. So now it's logging. And then usually it won't stop logging until you shut the car off or you can set a timer on it and the dominator, but I'm not sure about this. So what we'll do is we'll shut the car off. So we shut the car off. One, two, three, four, five. We'll plug it back in. We'll see if it made a log because I have this hooked up hot. It might need battery power to shut off the log correctly. Oh, it restored the screen. Nice. Logging files. It made a log. Right there, it automatically did it. Son of a bee. That's incredible. Super easy. I didn't see anybody go over this stuff yet, so I'm just trying to do some fun stuff with you guys. Close loop settings. How much percentage? Everything else. Enable. Advanced learn. Advanced idle. So cool. AC kick tuning. Basic fuel, target air fuels. Acceleration enrichment, fuel pump prime. Transmission. Well, we don't have anything in here. Yeah, read error. We don't have anything in there. Basic idle spark. Yep, we set that up. So cool. Can't wait to use this, guys. Hopefully you like the little overview there.